Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your girl Adriana DC. So as you guys see by the title of this video, tonight I'm going to be doing yet another perfume tag. Now this perfume tag is titled Three Fragrances That Surprise You in 2020. And I was actually tagged by the beautiful Anne, Jacob Descent UK. Now I'm going to pop the name of her channel to the top or uh, down below. Now I have recently connected with Anne and I'm really happy to have, you know, well I feel like I've met her but I have not. Her personality is so lovely. Her personality is literally as beautiful as she is. Now, obviously, she does fragrances, she reviews fragrances just like myself. She has really good taste. You know, we pretty much have the same, you know, interests are the same taste in common or whatever the case is. So, yeah, she tagged me um, in this video. So, tonight, I'm going to be showing you guys three fragrances that I discovered in 2020. I recently acquired them, but I discovered them in 2020. And I got my hands on them and I'm going to be telling you guys, you know, um, <laughs> what what those three fragrances are that actually surprised me in 2020. So before we go on to the video, you guys, please, by all means, if you are new here, thank you for stopping by. By all means, do hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you guys will be notified every single time I upload. By all means, do give me a thumbs up. And for those of you who are returning subscribers, thank you guys for supporting me. I absolutely appreciate you guys. So yeah, let's just dive into the video. So the first fragrance that um that pretty much surprised me in 2020 is actually a very, very, um it's like a cult favorite. It's like a very, very popular fragrance on YouTube. So as you can possibly imagine, I was really anxious to dive into it. And I couldn't really, I couldn't wait, you know, to finally smell the fragrance. And when it came, uh, I was a little bit underwhelmed. Just a little bit underwhelmed. And that fragrance is Parfum Zamali Delina. Now I know, I know, I know. Don't send any daggers at me. But I don't dislike Parfum Zamali Delina. I actually it's actually growing on me a lot more it's a really beautiful scent you know it's a very um it's a very fresh floor floral um rhubarb and lychee rose smelling fragrance with some musk in there and i think it has some almonds as well it's absolutely beautiful smell don't get me wrong beautiful very um ladylike pleasant um you know somewhat gaudy smelling fragrance i love it well i like it a lot but i had very high expectations for this perfume i don't know the impression that I got that I didn't get like it was a masterpiece, so to speak. But the way everybody loved this perfume, I don't know. I was expecting something different. And I wasn't expecting it to have that green, that hint of greenness to it. I don't recall ever hearing anybody really highlighting that this fragrance has a, a green note in it. Uh, you know, so that's a bit of a, um, it's not, it's not a bitterness, but it is a rhubarb in the bergamot in this fragrance that gives off a hint of greenness but it's a very fresh very beautiful green vibe to this perfume but i'm not generally a lover of green um green fragrances so that kind of took me by surprise but overall i do love this fragrance but i wore i did have i had a higher expectations for this perfume i'm gonna have to say <laughs> So yeah, the first fragrance that actually surprised me from 2020 would be Parfum Zamali Delina. Okay, the next fragrance that actually took me by surprise was Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. And you're probably thinking, well, well, no, no, because actually I smelled this perfume first in a sample, and I still have I still have that sample. So I actually I actually discovered this fragrance after I bought Angel Shares when I got the decant. And when I smelt it, I was just, um, that in, I don't know, it was just a weird smell to me. It was just like that intense sweetness of the, um, of the marshmallow. It just had this really interesting, well, it just had this intense boss of sweetness. Now, I'm guessing it's the marshmallows, but this fragrance also has in some caramel, honeysuckle, and vanilla. And pretty much, this perfume smells like a sticky, sweet, caramel and vanilla and honey smelling type of fragrance. It just came out really sticky and really sweet, like a candied sweetness to it that was, it just came off a type of way. And when I first smelled it, I was like, mm -mm, no way. There's no way in heaven or hell this is a vibe. It just, I don't know. It was just kind of weird for me. I'm going to have to say, however, this fragrance has grown on me 
I love, love Don't Be Shy. I mean, this is just, it's a very, I mean, once you get past that sticky sweetness in it, that candy sticky sweetness, I think you could actually love this perfume. This is, this is beautiful. I mean, one thing I love about this perfume is that even though it's so sweet in that marshmallow note in it, it's not juvenile. It's not juvenile. It is a bit of, it's more flirty than playful. This is a this is a beautiful smelling fragrance, a very beautiful, somewhat sexy kind of chick fragrance. So I love Love Don't Be Shy. It has grown on me in such a way that I literally just got this. I was like, I gotta have it, like gotta have this perfume. So yeah, that this is the second fragrance that you know surprised me in 2020, and that's Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. Last but by no means least, you guys, the ultimate fragrance that I bought that really took me by surprise. I don't even have it in my collection because I blatantly refuse to retain it. And that is none other than the infamous Baccarat Rouge 540. And if you guys frequent my channel, then you know, I mean, you probably saw my video of my initial review of that perfume. And Baccarat Rouge 540 it did not live up to my expectations, you guys. Now, it is not a bad smelling fragrance. It, the smell was quite pleasant. However, when I initially sprayed the fragrance, it literally didn't, I didn't smell anything. I know, it's kind of crazy. And I felt that way. I was personally perplexed by it. I didn't smell anything when I sprayed the fragrance which actually led me to go on YouTube or uh, Google and look up a molecular based fragrance. I mean, I don't want to go all the way into it because I already have a review, but Baccarat Rouge 5 is a molecular based fragrance that, uh, I don't know, it just, I don't know, it just goes away in the air and um, it kind of does a disappearing trick on you, comes and goes and you catch wisps of it and it's mildly sweetened, it's not concentrated, it's not a heavy I personally think it's a, a it's a it's a lighter. I feel it's less concentrated than perfume. I personally think that the Baccarat Rouge Five Forty is a is a is a is a weaker dose than that. I don't know. I may be wrong. I haven't checked that part, but I did do some research on it, and Baccarat Rouge Five Forty did not live up to my expectations. It literally smelled like a mildly sweetened cantaloupe, you know. And I know you're probably thinking a mildly sweetened cantaloupe, yeah. If not that, it smelled like the remnants of sugar and water. Literally, it smelled like sugar and water to me. So that was the biggest disappoint disappointment ever. It was literally the biggest disappointment, the most disappointing fragrance I have ever come across. And I literally sent it back. So that alone should tell you guys. So yeah. There you have it. These are the three fragrances in my collection. Well, that were. Well, one was in my collection. The other two are. Um, Killian, Love, Don't Be Shy, and Parfum, Zamala, Delina. These are the three fragrances that surprised me from 2020. And um, I'm glad to finally have to... I'm glad to like uh, for Parfum, Zamala to grow on me. And I'm glad that <laughs> Love, Don't, Don't Be Shy has grown on me as well. I'm glad that both of these fragrances actually... <laughs> now satisfy the expectations of what i wanted from it so there you have it you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this video by all means drop a comment in the comment section and let me know what other what fragrances took you guys by surprise as well and again you guys yeah, don't forget to check out my girl and at 50 cent uk's channel again i'm gonna pop her link to below um again she's so lovely she's very alluring i mean you'd probably be automatically drawn to her you're probably going to click that subscribe button. You're not even going to realize because she's absolutely sweet. Very lovely person. But there you have it, you guys. If you guys have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do click that subscribe button. Um, by all means, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to click that notification bell. So that way you guys will be notified every time I upload. And until next time, see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>